anybody in the world knows what child marriage is. A girl under the age of 18, or boys in some cases, getting married before they are 18. But what I didn't realize is how enormous the number of girls is who are affected by this practice and how incredibly bad it is. This is affecting 10 million girls every year, which means 100 million girls every decade. Mm -hmm. And if you just think about it, it's not just the 10 million girls. Their life is forever changed and their children's lives are forever changed. Those children will be born to mothers who aren't ready to be mothers, who aren't educated yet, who don't have the capabilities to keep them healthy and give them the kind of opportunity that you would want them to have. So it's not just that we lose something today, we lose that girl, we lose that generation. Every three seconds a girl will be married. It's, it's extraordinary. This is affecting six out of the eights Millennium Development Goals, the goals that we have set ourselves to help the world get out of poverty. And honestly, I think it is an illusion that we will ever get every girl in school, that we will ever stop uh, maternal death, that we will ever tackle infant mortality, um, that we can ever end the spreading of HIV AIDS, that we will ever get gender uh, equality, that we will ever break the cycles of, of poverty if we don't empower the girl child and if we don't end child marriage. And that was the way how the elders then said, yeah, no, we have to tackle this issue. The elders decided that they would do two things. One is use whatever access and, and media opportunities, etc. they have to give the, the practice of child marriage more visibility. And secondly, they decided that what, what would make sense is create an, uh, a partnership called Girls Not Brides. Um, which is basically a global partnership to end child marriage, which currently, um, a year since its launch, has about 200 members from 40 or so countries. Tiny grassroots groups working in small villages to try to end the practice, and very big development organizations. And um, it was really, you know, with the support of the Nike Foundation, that this could start. Yeah, I was really moved when Desmond Tutu said that he would fight for this in the same way he fought against apartheid. And so it's a really profound statement to everyone about how big of a, a problem it really is and how horrendous it really is, and also how hopeful it is. I mean, on the one hand, one might say 10 million girls every year. This is an impossible task to, to change. And that's how the world thought about food binding. That's what we thought about slavery. That's what we thought about apartheid. And at the same time, we know that if the girl that you met, the girl that I met, all their peers, if we can keep them out of marriage until the age of 18 and get them a proper education, we know that they will never ever let their own girls, their own daughters, get married before the age of 18. Which basically means that we can change this incredibly harmful practice in one generation.